My name is Stefan Kapinski, a freelance illustrator generally for the uh, games industry, um, whether that's tabletop, console, I like to spread my wings a little further than that, but freelance illustrator. I was working for um, um, David Pretty, Cool Mini or Not, and, um, and therefore it's word of mouth. Uh, and obviously Leo, um, you don't know quite who appreciates your work, but Leo obviously appreciated my work, phoned me up or, or emailed me and uh, asked me to do a concept for him. And um, straight away, the, the, the brief sparked me and uh, um, the idea of doing you know, mythological, mythological um, gods, Greek gods, with an apocalyptic twist was just, uh, it's a no-brainer. I have to do the job. And uh, the pressure was on. So straight away, the idea was uh, a, a fant fantastic idea. If you can picture the image straight away, you want the job. And so I did my very best on uh, Zeus. And that was it. Um, I was away. But uh, just, the, just the whole brief from the very beginning was right up my street. Brilliant. When I actually uh, first approached the design for Mythic Battles uh, and the brief stated you wanted uh, the, 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 the mythological Greek gods, you immediately think of Roman statues. The Greek art is limited, it's down to the image you see on pots and such, but the, the, when, you, when you imagine it straight away it's the Greek statues, David and such. And, and so you've got this beautiful, clean, proportionally stunning art. Um, and then you've got the apocalyptic twist on top. So straight away you've got, as far as reference material is concerned, you've got amazing visuals already, uh, believable amazing visuals already. And then you put the dirge, the great British dirge on top. And, and it just was, uh, again, part of the initial brief uh, was was this clean, uh, immediate art with this dirge level on top, the filth on top of battle, you know, of warfare. And the two combined were, um, I mean, gods are, you know, mortal creatures. And so they're never going to be injured, but their clothes will become tattered. And that twist in itself was just you know, great for the imagination and straight away, you know, the visuals were just there immediately. So, uh, great brief. Well done, Leo. My original reference points for um, creating the mythological beasts, uh, like Hydra and Cerberus, were um, research on the internet, usually something like Wikipedia, um, and delving into the original myth rather than retakes. Um, it's quite easy to, to start looking at the modern day films and, uh, and such. So the original source was the, uh, was the angle that I took. So Hydra being the guardian, I believe, the guardian of the underworld, uh, Cerberus being the three-headed dog from, of, of Hades and, and such. Um, and then you have to then start looking at further films uh, Wrath of the Titans uh, being the latest and, and such and Harryhausen's stop animation was, was just, you know, you, you have to use it. Certainly someone of my generation, you have to use Harryhausen's uh, resource material. And so you've got a world of these and, it, and what's, what, what's nice actually about this, this project was you were, uh, you were made to do your research and half of the, the joy of doing concept work or doing any art is the research and the amount of knowledge that you gain, you, you know, you store the information. Uh, this, this project immediately kind of like grasped me because it made me look at Greek mythology, which I only, the only information I had was the Harryhausen films. So to actually then look deeper into the original uh, uh, reference material was, was like, wow, and, and, it, and it just feeds you, and therefore the next project, if you ever do something which was about Greek mythology, it's there straight away, and you research that a little bit more. So it's, you know, it's, 
it's uh, for me although I, I sometimes you know slip up I don't make things cool as they should be I do like to research the, the, the you know the origins and make things kind of a little more realistic as such so you have to kind of like have an idea of uh, anatomy in various different creatures and stuff and and so everything has to be that little bit more believable when I actually produce my concepts um, my 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 a usual approach is for instance if there is a rivet on a piece of metal it's not just a circle on a piece of metal it has to be holding something or attached to something behind it it's got to have a, a, a mechanism to it a, a, a believable mechanism but really it's like uh, if they're if they're um, beasts of the uh, of the underworld if they're uh, underwater creatures then they've got to you've got to then research lizards to an extent and such for how the the tails might be the fin on the back and such it's, it's fairly obvious um if i were to pick a, a favorite concept to do if I, uh, or a favorite brief to actually uh, uh, to take on i would say the easiest and it's not necessarily my favorite but the easiest would be a beast a creature, uh, a fantastical beast. Um, reason being is that it's your view on it. If you were to produce a human, uh, especially a female, because their form is, is observed that little, little more closer, um, if you were to do a female, then there are more eyes on it. And so you have to get it right. Uh, if you're doing a beast, a creature, you can do as you wish and say that's how it looks as long as it's not ridiculous. So creatures are easier to do, to get right, and they're usually a quicker job. But producing human form, you have to then refer to re you know, original reference material, make sure they do look correct. So exaggerated for you know, the, the, the form. If it's, a, if it's a god, then it's untouchable. So therefore, you know, it's exaggerated, slightly smaller head for the hero look, but uh, um, creatures easier. If I was to pick a, a favorite, if I was, let's say I took one concept, yeah. which was my favorite concept, I know it's uh, not necessarily the easiest, but the favorite concept and which was the favorite piece of work. I have two, two of quite different, two, two different things. Um, I'd say the concept was probably Zeus because it got me the job, but um, was also it was it, it worked and it was I was um, I was already kind of buzzing on the idea of getting the job in the first place and so that job became kind of like oh it's you know it's gods war-torn gods and you, you're immediately like oh, scribbling away so that was probably the favorite concept although I do like doing the creature concepts and when it came to um, the artwork for, for the covers teaser and box box art I'd say even though the box art is full-on battle scenes the amount of battle scenes I have to do as uh, for, for illustrations uh, I wouldn't say I get tired of them but it was lovely to actually do the teaser art because it was more of a classical uh, uh, classical kind of landscape art so there was there was there was a lot going off if you look into it but um, uh, initially your reaction is it's a very calm environment and there was no uh, blood being spilt here or there was no muzzle flashes taking place here and it was the only bit of action really was uh, th was the owl flying in and maybe some spark from the fire but th the way I actually approach my artwork is I like to put a level of story into my artwork, um, into my full illustrations. So even if there's something where it looks a very uh, a calm scene, there's, there's usually something in there which will hopefully, once the more you look at the image, uh, you'll see just a little bit more in the story. So if you look, I think it's, uh, I can't remember, one of the gods is stood at the back and he's staring at, uh, one of the troops who sat down who's not engaged in um, 
in the actual uh, lightning over the hills. Everyone's staring at the lightning, he's not. So he's like, why isn't he looking at it? And so you immediately look around and one of the gods is looking at him and it makes you start thinking. So it's not just a flashy cover, it's something which I've obviously enjoyed doing, I've obviously got into, but it was just, it was just lovely to actually do a classical uh, image. And uh, what was not actually nice that uh, Leo mentioned in one of his um, videos that he, 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 uh, that's up on the internet that I didn't realize, but uh, I'll use now, is that um, he said that I was classical, but modern. And so my approach is to actually do the painting try and paint on the computer rather than do use its effects. And, um, and, and therefore, you, you want to actually produce these classical images. So that teaser artwork allowed me to actually just do what I would love to do on a canvas, a classical image. The teaser art, what is um, it's actually ha happening in the image, um, again, I, I, I then took the fact that, um, the, that there was lightning over the hillside. The gods, generally the god that actually produces lightning is, is as use. And, um, and so he was, ne he was obviously going to be the god that was on the box cover. So when I was doing the teaser art, teaser art I was conscious that the box art was going to involve the main king of the gods. So he was apparent in the teaser art. And, and, that, and so that I immediately wanted to do this link between the two. So uh, the owl flying in on the teaser art was doing a scout mission out over the hilltops and flying back to base to report back to Athena. And so the, the image for the box art had the owl flying over the top and, uh, um, and the battle itself was, was very, you know, abrupt. There was, a, there was lightning everywhere. There was a huge battle going off. That's what's going off on the hilltop. So it was immediately, uh, it, to extend the storytelling, I wanted to actually have, you know, get the drift. If I had to pick my favorite god, um, I guess it would be Hades. Um, he's... As far as a visual is concerned, it, it, uh, for an immortal, um, if all the gods were fighting each other, he is an older god uh, and has the older look about him. He's, he's taller, he's more sinewy. Um, therefore, he would look the, the weaker, so he, but he has got this very kind of muscular sinewy muscular feel but it's it's all about his powers of raising the undead with fire i mean who doesn't like fire and zombies